Hey y'all, it's Laura and I have my layout flip through for November. Can you believe November is almost over? <laughs> ah, unbelievable. So tomorrow's the last day of November and I know I'm not gonna be able to scrap any tomorrow. So I decided to go ahead and do a flip through of what I've accomplished this month. I still have a little bit left in my November stash kit. So I'll probably do a couple more layouts in that one before I consider it dead. But I did kill my... October hip kit and I did do quite a few design team layouts so still got a lot done I think I have about 29 or 30 total pages and uh, or projects we'll say <laughs> to share with you guys so let's dive in up first I have my cherry on top design team so I made a mini album and I do have a, a little tutorial for this up on the channel so lots of really fun little flip outs and really cute little photos and things. I have a little folio that I've made here and I show you how to make that in the tutorial. Super easy, really quick, lots of journaling, lots of really sweet photos of my husband and I's very first vacation together, which was nice to scrap because uh, not much vacationing happening at the moment. So that is my mini album. Then I have this layout made using a mix of the new crepe paper collections, Marigold and what's the other one? Sweet Bouquet, I think. And so just layering up some things behind my photos. I've got a cut apart piece to use as a subtitle. I've got a piece of acetate as my title, a little bit of vellum in the background. There is not a video for this one. If I remember correctly, I did this one off camera and I really love the little gold splatter at the top. So I'll show you a close up of this one. So you can see just a lot of layering, a lot of fun stuff, little strips of sentiments there on that photo uh, because it's just covering up the windowsill. <laughs> and I thought this one was really sweet for my daughter Sophia's album. This layout uses Coco Vanilla's Daydream collection that a cherry on top is now carrying. Super excited about them carrying Coco Vanilla, gotta be honest. And it's based on a design style that I used twice this month, at least twice this month, and where I create outside borders and keep my photos in the center. So I did this twice on two different nine by 12 layouts, and you will have seen a sketch that I made to accompany this design style so that you can do it yourself. So I do have a video for this, but I really enjoy showing you guys the close-ups. So you can see how I've just bundled everything together, nestling in all the little bits and pieces. So that's this one. This one was a mixed media layout. I do have a video for this one, and it is using a, an embossing technique that is very, very simple. It's essentially using gloss gel medium through a stencil and then spraying on top of it using a baby wipe to clean off the stars. And it looks like it's been embossed, but I haven't had to go through the trouble of embossing it, which is a lot of fun and much easier. Didn't have to pull out my uh, heat tool or anything. So really like this one. And there is a video. And that's using Coco Vanilla's legendary collection. This, these two are for Coco Manila Studios. I am on their design team, which let me tell you, my dream design team. So I'm super excited to get accepted by them. This is using a mix of the new Daydream collection and an older More Than Words collection. I do have a video for both of these layouts. So here's a little up close and personal. Using a lot of frames. I'm a big fan of frames. I'm happy to see them in any and every collection because this is the main way that I use them is in clusters for a background. This one just uses the Daydream collection. It's the second layout using that border technique, but this time I've used a portrait and landscape photo on the same layout and just kind of tied them together with similar elements like flare, like butterflies, like rainbows on both photos that helps keep them feeling connected. So that's this one. There is a video for this one as well. There we are. 
love that rainbow, not rainbow. It is rainbow, but rainbow raindrop <laughs> paper was perfect for these photos of my daughter watching the rain. So now we've moved on to an interesting little hop that I did for photo play via Scrapbook Your Joy, which is a Canadian shop. And she sent me a photo play paper pack and embellishment uh, pack. So there was a, a stack of papers, sticker sheet, and ephemera, and that was it. And she asked me to show how to stretch your embellishments when you don't have a ton to pick from. And so what some of the things that I did in that video is to cut out the outlines of tabs and then fill them in with pattern paper to make additional tabs. So there's that. I also used a lot of pattern paper in the background so that I didn't feel like I had to fill it in with embellishments. And then I created a bunch of extra little banners down at the bottom using the ones that came with the kit as a uh, template. So that's this layout. But while I was playing with this collection, I decided to make a couple extras just for fun. So here is one of those, again, with the frames in the background, a nine by 12 layout of Sophia. And we were at a restaurant, so I just decided to use up all the cooking themed things. There's no video for this one. Just had a little bit of fun with the kit and thought I'd make a few more layouts with it. So there is that one. And then this one is a six by 12 layout. And my husband doesn't really particularly appreciate it when I show photos of him not wearing a shirt. So I have covered him up and to use a lot of the circle elements from the collection here to just create a couple of clusters at the top and the bottom. I've got my journaling down below, very, very simple layout, but a really, really nice way to uh, scrap just a, a single photo that doesn't have a big story, but I still think is important. And the last layout I made with that collection was this one using a cut file from Redefined Creative. She cuts all my cut files for me because I gave up my silhouette, decided I'd had enough. And just a couple of photos of my kiddos wrestling around being silly and uh, decided to use a cut file and a lot of the embellishments from this kit. So this came out really, really sweet. Absolutely love it. A little bit of journaling there at the bottom, but I really love this clustering here in this open spot. Just think that works really nicely. Now the next up is my November Secret Not Secret Kit Club kit combined with some stash. And so I have quite a few layouts from this one, but it's not quite done. I'll probably over the next week or so finish it up and then include what I make in December's layout flip through. Uh, I will not just be doing December daily in December. There will be a lot of layouts with no Christmas theme. <laughs> Don't worry if you're not a Christmas scrapper, you'll still have plenty of inspiration on the channel. We'll just do December daily live on Fridays. So this is the first layout. I did this one live in the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. I have a film strip that I printed at home with my Canon selfie and a four by six photo. And the challenge was for them to use different sized photos on the same layout and use these cut file pieces that she had put into my kit that are also photo strips. And then just a little bit of embellishing around the photos. So there is a video for this one on the channel. If you'd like to uh, go see how this one came together. And I paint, this is wood veneer that I used a paint pen to paint black. The next layout I made with this one is of the Great American Eclipse. And I do have a video for this one using a piece of chipboard packaging left over from some frames and just use it as a way to collage my photos together. Kept this one pretty simple with embellishing because there are six photos on it. I just don't feel like I need to heavily embellish layouts that have a ton of photos. Just doesn't really need it. So I love the title, A Total Eclipse of the Sun. <laughs> Thought that was fitting. Now the one that goes with this one, so this is actually a two page spread, even though they don't perfectly match, they do have some overlapping 
theme. So I've got the black and white checked paper in the background. And I have some of this paper here. No, I didn't use this paper. Oh, I used the uh, the stars. I have little stars on all over the place. So just some things to kind of tie them together, but they don't always match. I'm not much of a matchy matchy scrapper on two page layouts. So this one is one that I have recently put up on the channel and has a great deal of hand stitching and stamping, which is a lot of fun, and uses this stash kit as well. This one is scrapping my daughter doing some scrapbooking with her scout troop a while back. This was for a scrap lift Sunday layout. I really, really enjoyed this one. So that definitely has a video up on the channel as well. A lot of little details on this one that I really, really enjoy. This paper was so beautiful. I was glad to use a large section of it. Then we have a couple of pocket pages using my stash kit and see if I can show this without the glare. Uh, our trip to Kentucky, I'll show it up to you real close. I didn't end up doing any of these on camera this month. I just didn't, I ran out of time. <laughs> I was I just happily scrapping away making videos and then realized I had filled up my entire month on the channel and uh, just decided to get some pocket pages done off the channel. And that's okay too. So just a lot of really fun, bright colors on this one, which I think matches the photos quite nicely. This one is a just kind of a July monthly uh, Project Life page. Oh, come here. And again, using that kit. No, this one was using, this was not from the stash kit. This was from a Citrus Twist kit. That last one might have been a little bit of both. So just some sweet photos and journaling cards, just some minimal embellishing really, lots of journaling. I always have lots to say. Uh, birthday party for my son. He was a July baby. And then this layout is from Quick 6x6 six six Tricks this month. Really enjoyed this one. Used a lot of my hip kit on this one. So the embellishments came from the hip kit, but the papers came from a 6x6 six six paper pad in my stash. Did all my journaling around the outside and we have a video for this one as well. Love all the little details on that. And the title is just beautiful. Next up, the rest of these are from that hip kit, from October's hip kit. And I think I mixed in a little bit of the previous month's leftover hip kit as well. So there might be some bits and pieces that are from September. But the first one up is one that I did on camera. And this was for Christina Inez's birthday hop using a sketch that she created. Really, really love how this came out. Such a fun layout. These wood veneer pieces came from Christina Sorge's uh, Redefine Creative Shop. And then I have some Scrap and Happy Studio flare, Popoxy flare on there as well. But most of this came from the hip kit. And then I have this tag layout that does have a video as well and it's very fall themed using up a lot of the tags that came with the collection it's using a lot of cozy simple stories cozy days i think and uh, i think it turned out pretty cute really like the row of tags down the side and the little embellishing clusters next to the photos then we have this one we did live together on one of the Friday nights using my October hip kit and a whole row of the manufacturing strips that come on papers as well as some tags and these little snails which were just too cute not to put on and a couple pieces of flair from Scrap and Happy Studio. Really love this one. It's just so sweet. It's so warm. It is so home feeling, you know, it's a homey feeling layout. I think that's just perfect. The next up is this one that I made off camera of my dogs and Strider is the white dog. We lost him 
a couple of years ago, but he was best friends with my dog, Emma. And so I just did some paper layers here with some washi and then used up a bunch of frames in the background. Frames were a big, big choice this month. I had a lot of them and I had fussy cut a bunch of these little dogs. And so I tried to squeeze a lot of those on the page. I also used up all of my DIY embellishments from October, which were cork and I made way too many. So I was really impressed with myself for using up all of those. Next up is a scrap lift Sunday layout using envelopes. And we just made our own envelopes from six by six papers and then tucked in some photos. So three photos on this one. Really love this style. I will definitely be giving this idea another go, maybe in a different way, but I really like how this came out. It's just so fun. It is a bit chunky, <laughs> but it's just paper. So it's not gonna take up a lot of actual space in your album. The next one I made off camera and it's of Sophia covered in mud, of course, as you do when you're five or four actually in these photos and little spray of butterflies at the top and bottom, some florals, some tags and a title, a little bit of scraps. This was definitely a scraps layout. You'll see the back is just a patchwork of scraps to use them up as I was getting to the end of the kit. And I really enjoy this layout. I think it came out really cute. So there's that one. Last one is a pocket page using the last of that kit and some pieces from that photo play collection as well. I just kind of tossed them in there with the hip kit to try to get them used up. And uh, I made this one off camera. I just wanted to try to use up as many paper scraps as possible before I'd completely finished with the kit. And so that's what I did. It's a really funny photo of my husband. <laughs> the girls just pile on top of him, you know, kids. And dancing with the dog, hiding in the pantry, had another birthday. We have a lot of birthdays in our house, as you can imagine. Playing with the dog, <laughs> science experiments, of course, lots of science experiments. My husband's an engineer, so we have lots of those. But yes, so that is all of the layouts that I've created this month. I hope you have enjoyed this little flip through. Let me know which one is your favorite or favorites. I'm okay with there being multiple favorites. And uh, let me know what you think overall of the flip through. And uh, if you have any questions in the comments below, if you'd like to save any of these for inspiration, they're all up on my Instagram, except for the six by 12, because my husband did ask me not to post that one, which is totally fine. But the rest of them are all on my Instagram that you can save to try and lift later if you'd like, or just find some inspiration from the color scheme or anything like that. But that's it for me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, bye.